welcome. What we're about to go over right now is highlighting, traditional highlighting. All right, there's different types of highlighting. You can do fine, medium, or chunky, and that means the spaces between the natural hair and the lightening hair, or the hair that you're lightening. So what I did was I did some nice sections, and you want your sections to be no more than a rod size. I'm gonna assume you know what a rod is when you use for your permanent waves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tail of my comb and I am gonna take the hair and I'm gonna go up and down. And I'm gonna grab little pieces of hair as I take the hair up and down. And you wanna make sure this subsection is no more than an eighth of an inch, right? And then I'm going to split it and the hair that I'm holding is the hair that I am going to highlight. I am going to take my foil and I'm gonna take the tail of my comb and I'm gonna wrap the foil around the tail. I'm going to place the foil underneath the hair that I have separated. Place it tightly and you wanna have a good grip on this subsection. And I'm going to put my, my knuckles in there and remove the red tail comb. I'm going to take my product and your product would either be permanent hair color or lightener. We're using simulation right now. And I'm going to place my product an eighth of an inch away from the top of the foil. The reason why an eighth of an inch is because bleach swells and you do not want it to bleed over. Once you get that on there, it's gonna hold itself. You take your hand, you place it underneath, and you start to place the product on. After you do that, you take it, you fold it up to the top, like so. Do not squeeze and press. That's gonna make the product swell and come out the sides, and that's called bleeding. So you're gonna take it to the top like so, Stretch it, place your hand underneath it, take your comb side, imprint it, fold it over, imprint it, fold it over. And then for extra measure, you're gonna go to the top to lock it in so it doesn't slide. All right, that's your foil. Now this is a fine one. I'm gonna show you medium. Anytime you do highlighting, it's about separating your natural hair from the lighted hair. And so it depends on what ratio you're gonna do. I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio. One-to-one -one means foil, no foil. Back to foil. So it should look like foil, hair, Foil, hair, foil, hair, foil, hair. And you could do it maybe just the crown area, the entire head. It's totally up to your design decision and when your consultation with your client. So I'm going to do one to one. Drop it down. That's the hair I'm going to leave out. This is the hair that I'm going to take. And again, right now, I'm just taking the time to show you fine, medium, and chunky. Medium is going to be a little bit different. Medium is where it's a little bit more prominent. More noticeable. Fine gives you more of a natural look. like a soft natural. This one gives you a medium natural and chunky is just straight. Hey, I got highlights. Take the foil as you already know, fold it to the back, place it on top. And that is your medium.
When I created the simulation product, I mixed shaving cream and gel. That is a good combination to practice with. It gives you a great consistency. I'm gonna show you the bleach one soon too. Now I'm gonna show you chunky. Chunky is when you take eighth of an inch to, not excuse me, a half of an inch to an inch. Chunky is when you take a half of an inch to an inch. It is very, very noticeable. Large chunks all over the head. Remember, an eighth an inch away from the, from the top line for swelling. Make sure you get absolutely everything. Don't press. The last one I'm gonna show you is what's more of in today. And that's when you just do like the tip area, kind of like an ombre. All right, so you're gonna go in vertically and shriek it, and then apply it on the entire subsection without separating. All right, now that I showed you how to do it with simulated product, let's use some real product. See you in a minute. So we're still doing highlighting here and I wanna talk about patterns. When you do your highlighting patterns, you can choose to do maybe just the top section. If you do the top sections, when the hair is down, it will appear as if it's all over the head or you can do all over the head. I brought that up to say is that when we're putting these product all over the head, time is of the essence. So some places are getting processed faster than the others and you can't keep the product on there because you're not finished foiling the head. So I'm gonna show you a way to wipe it out so that you can finish and everything can stay even. And you'll also get to see the fine, medium, and chunky, what it really looks like. All right, here we go. So to how you take out your foils is like so. Take a towel, and again, you'll be doing the whole head, but you take the towel, you put it underneath the foil. Then you slide the foil out because you still have a whole head to do and you do not want to over process the hair. You're gonna take the towel and you're gonna wipe it out so you can stop the process. And look, see those highlights? Look at that. Very natural looking. All right. Let's go to the one that's medium natural looking, and it's actually called medium. I'm gonna take my towel, place it underneath the foil, slide it out, and it gives you a medium natural look. Some people say, hey, can I take it out at the sink? Sure you can, but if you're not finished with the entire head and the process, or I should say the chemical has already been on the head for maybe 30 minutes or an hour or so, you wanna go ahead and take it out if you're at the proper level of lightness. The next one I'm gonna show you is Chunky. Chunky is a very unnatural look and you'll see it right off the bat. Placing the towel underneath, pulling it out. It's just very wide chunks. If you want to know about level of lightness to darkness, just pay attention in your theory class for hair color. And then the last one is when you just want to get those tips. 
a nice little ombre-ish look. Let's slide it out. And there you have it. All right. It's very important to never leave a highlight as a raw bleach look. You always wanna go in and tone it and blend it in nicely. As you already know, if you wanna get rid of yellow tones, make sure you use something ashy. If you want it to be more warm, make sure you use warm undertones. You'll get that in your hair color class. All right, everybody, let's comb this out. Let's see. Look at the highlights. Wow. So quick and so fast. All right, everybody, that's highlighting.